Hello, so we have reached exercise 6, which is hashing with the BST. So we need to create a hash table. Uh, we're ch chaining the elements, so those elements that they have the same hashing value should be inserted into the uh, same binary search tree. So we need to define the abstract uh, data type, and then we need to write the declaration of such data structure, and then to create a table, add an element, and search for a given element. So let's take an example. So let's say we have uh, uh, this, uh, so we have a hash table, so each hash table uh, so it contains, for example, an element. So at each cell is, uh, is a binary search tree. So first we have null, and then whenever we want to insert, for example, let's say that I have an element that hashes to index zero. So I need to create a, a BST and so on. So let's start. Uh, so we'll have here the declaration of a BST. So we have an element and two pointers to left and right. The character here, the element is a string, so it's an N character, and a hash table is an array of M BST. So in order to create the hash table, so I just need to uh, place null in each of uh, the elements. So for i equal to zero, i less than M, I plus plus and then H of I is equal to null and later on H I would be pointing to a BST. So for the hash function since we are using a, a string so I'll be looking over the string and count uh, the, the, the ASCII value of each character and then I will do the modulo in order to find an index in this uh, table. So for the uh, uh, test, so we need to create a hash table. So here I'm looping and I'm reading some string. So it terminates from, by stop. So here I'm entering one, two, three, four, five. And then when, whenever we enter stop, the, the while loop will end. And then we'll print the hash table and then we'll try to find uh, the uh, string one in this uh, table. So let's start with the, so we have started with the creation. So let's uh, move to the insertion. So I need to insert an element into a hash table. So the prototype is so we need a hash table and n. So here we don't need an address since uh, uh, h is an array. So in order to insert an element into a hash table, I just need to insert the element into the corresponding uh, uh, BST. So I will call insert BST. So I will add the element n in h of hash of n. So hash of n. And of course, I need to use the address here. So whenever we want to insert a string into BST, so it's very easy. You can either do it recursively or iteratively. I will do it recursively. So we know that whenever I reach a null, I reach a leaf, it means that I can add an element. So I need first to try to allocate it. So it's a BST malloc size of struct node. So if there's no memory in the heap, so I will return zero otherwise i will i will uh, place e in the element data however data here is a string so i cannot uh, write b arrow data equal e so i need to, to use the str copy function so b arrow data to uh, e so here we have t reference uh, b and i will place in left and null the value of null of left and right equal to null and i will return one so and for example if i want if i if i look for the element and i found in the in the vst so I, will, I will not add it again so if strcmp of the reference b arrow data is equal to e so here if it's equal equal to zero i will return zero because i cannot add the same element otherwise if uh, for example strcmp of the arrow data and e is less than zero it means the data here is less than e so e is bigger so i need to find it i need to insert it into the right part so return insert bst i will copy this element e and here we will have B arrow right and all is I should supply the address of this otherwise I will add E and the left BST so this is for the insertion 
Now let's move to the search. So if I want to search an element into this hash table, I first need to, uh, I just need to search the element into the corresponding BST. So again, I will return here, search BST for the element E, and I will find it in H of hash of E. So to search for BST, it's very easy. So again, you can use, uh, uh, you can write it iteratively or recursively. So let's write it recursively. So if B is equal to null, so I will return zero. And if I find the element, it means if strcmp is equal to zero, so I will use different here. If strcmp b arrow data comma e is equal equal to zero, I will return a one. Otherwise, if strcmp of b arrow data e is less than zero it means e is greater than b so i will find it in the right side so search bst b arrow right e otherwise i will find it in the left So, and we need to print the hash table. So in order to print the hash table, I just need to loop over the hash table and then print each BST. So here I'm using the in order traversal. So I already write it, so it's, it's uh, uh, very easy. Just need to print the in order traversal on the left side and the data, the root, and then the right side. So in order to loop over the hash table, I just need to loop over it. So int i for i equal to zero, i less than m, m, i plus plus, so I will print the uh, index percentage D and then I will call the uh, uh, in order of H of I and then I print F backslash I. So let's run and see if we will have the same output. So yes, we have the same output and we have at the end here uh, tested whether one is in the uh, hash table. So yes, it's in the hash table. So if, if for example, I place a small uh, O here, so obviously I will not find it in the hash table and I will get a zero. So quickly, so we have uh, BST and here the hash table is an array of M BSTs. To create the hash table, I just put null in each of the cells and then to insert an element into a hash table I will insert the element into the corresponding hash uh, into the corresponding binary search tree and the same for searching an element into a hash table I will search into the corresponding uh, BST and this is it for this exercise if you have any question do not hesitate to write to me and I will answer you back and again thanks for watching